Oh, how's it going? Welcome back to Panda Garage. Um, yeah, a lot to talk about, I guess. All right, so what you may have heard, and it's covered all over the news, in mainstream news as well as automotive news, is that Holden is actually finished manufacturing on this day today. It's um, uh, Friday, um, October 20th. And uh, today is not only the last day for Holden building cars, but it's the end of Australian manufacturing um, in terms of cars. Now, Hol uh, Holden's the very last of the three majors. Um, Toyota shut down last month in Altona, which is in Melbourne as well. Um, yeah, the Adelaide plant is shut today, and Ford shut down the Broadmeadows plant last year. So, um, big changes in the world. We're going to be a fully imported country, which is very strange. It's the first time in nearly a century that we've actually had to um, import cars fully. So, um, yeah, very weird. It's, it's, we're, we're in the Holden Cruise at the moment. We're just going to do some tidying up today, but this was actually the last small car built in Australia. Um, and my Monaro is now going to be the last two-door car built in Australia. So, um, it's sad it's a sad day for Australian manufacturing because um, I think we build some pretty decent cars, especially because they get taken all over the world. Like my car got converted in, um, converted into the Pontiac GTO and went over to America, even though they said it was a bit too subtle. Even the, I don't understand that because it was the best looking car they were selling at the time. Because I mean, you look at all the monstrosities they were bringing out before, all plastic body kit crap and stuff. But it was. Um, my, like my car was built off an idea and just um, building a car that was outside of ours and it was built from passion and um, yeah it's amazing we're not going to have that anymore um, we've got best, some of the best engineers and best designers in the world um, based in Australia luckily R&D is still going to be going for not only Holden but Ford as well and I think Toyota might be still doing stuff here as well. Most most companies bring out stuff, but we actually got dedicated engineers here in Australia. So, um, luckily, most of the cars are coming to the country and get sent around the world. We'll still have our touch to them, but they just won't be built here anymore. So, yeah, weird. It's going to be a weird, weird time not to have see another car built coming out of Broad Meadows. I mean, it's I've been driving past there. We'll, we'll go past there one day for a video. Um, they're slowly bringing, pulling it down. That was built in 1960, and they were building cars there. Built every Falcon, um, 55, 56 years worth of Falcons. And so um, they're shut down. Uh, I was near the Holden. I was actually at the Holden um, main office, um, which I've got to film down there. I've got to take you guys and see that because there's a lot of cool cars in that museum down there. But all the all the engine plant out the back's pretty much going to get demolished or um, converted into something else and um yeah it's it's crazy to think like and of course toyota's altona plant's going to be shut down and well, it's shut down it's getting converted into something else um and geelong plant i don't know what they're doing with that but the r and d's out the back the research and development they're based out the back still um but the main original 1925 plant's going to be um converted into something or they're going to heritage list it or um, someone might take it over but it's uh, a lot of jobs are being lost because of um, three companies deciding to pull out of the country that they've um, had a lot of success in so um, what that means for Australia is that there won't be any V8 cars um, that are really affordable other than sort of like the German ones maybe a few Japanese ones um, but we won't have our rear-wheel drive big V8 like smoke and tyre kind of um, outfits anymore other than like the Mustang and there's a possibility the Camaro is coming soon. But yeah, um, I was going to, I was hoping to be down um, at Fisherman's Bend to film um, this video, but it's, um, it's 
just not the case today. We've had a lot of things, a lot of big things have happened um, this week in my life, but we're, um, yeah, we're, it's, uh, we'll be back to sort of normal scheduling soon. I've got some good stuff next week. Now that this week's out of the way, a lot of things happen this week, but now that this week's out of the way, I'm going to start doing a lot of painting work. We've got so many cars like this needs to be fixed. We've got the Vectra needs to be fixed. We've got a Commodore that needs to be fixed. All paint work, basically. So, um, and body work and stuff. So that that's going to be interesting. I haven't really painted a car before. Um, or painted any panels. I painted bikes, um, but that's about it. Uh, other than that, the Monaro's whole front end feels like it's about to fall off, so we've got to put, replace all the bushings in that. Um, my brother needs some work on his car. We're going to do some work on that soon as well. Um, Scotty, you, you know from YouTube, he's um, going to pull out his uh, old Toyota Camry soon as well. It's um, been a bit of a time capsule um, at the back of his parents' joint, so we'll do some work on that too. Um, what else is coming up? Got all these ideas, I just have to implement them. Now, I'm, I love doing this stuff, but when it comes to the editing and making the videos, I'm very slack. So if they come out a bit staggered, um, you'll understand why, because I just, just get slack on doing it, because it's just a task and a half. So I'm hoping that this video is just seamless and I don't have to edit, I can just upload straight away. Um, but if you guys have got any questions at all or you want to see something on the channel, like a video, you might have, like, there might be a, like, a, a myth, like, sort of, we could do a bit of myth-busting kind of thing. If you've got, an, um, something that you've heard about in, car, in terms of cars or, um, something that might work, um, it's like a car hack, um, let me know in the comments below or send me a direct message either on, um, on YouTube or send it on, uh, Facebook or Instagram pages. So they're both, uh, uh the Panda Garage and they're linked down below. So um, I think that's all for today. We'll um, discuss sort of the, what it means for Australia um, with all these manufacturers shutting down in a later video. We might do it down at Fisherman's Bend because I want to show you some cool cars. There's some um, other Monaros there. Um, there's a, a, a 7 litre V8 one, a 427 um, one sitting in the, in the showroom there. And there's also the the convertible, which is where I got the name Marilyn from, because that's what the actual project name was. It's a left-hand drive um, convertible Monaro, which was really nice, called Marilyn. So it's in this beautiful blue. And um, we'll check that out next time. So thank you all so much for watching. Remember to check out Instagram and uh, Facebook. Um, under, uh, I was going to say underscore. It's um, the, the Panda Garage. So you'll see bits and pieces pop up on there from time to time. Um, remember to interact. If you go on the page, say that you've you've liked it and you've joined. Um, subscribe for more videos. Um, I've seen it boost up in the last few days or this week even. So thank you all so much. for If you're new, welcome to the channel. Um... And yeah, don't don't forget to leave comments and um, good or bad, I'll um, generally answer them. So um, until next time, guys. This is Matt from Pan Garage, and I'll see you guys next time.